I'm going to make a short video that will describe how to do APA format running heads in Microsoft Word. So as you see, this is a way that Microsoft Word might appear when you open it up. There's a variety of different settings that may exist on your system. I wanted to start it out as plain as I could. Actually, probably it would open up looking like that. Um, so the first thing I want to show you is this little icon over here turns on the, the ruler. I like to have that on mine. You certainly don't have to on yours, but it, but it provides some information to you up here. Right now it's showing in the margin, so I want to show you that as well. Obviously, one of the first things on APA format is that you should have one-inch margins all the way around. So, we're, again, we're going to start with looking at the running headers. So I'm going to want, there's multiple ways of doing this. One way, the way I like to do it that I think is pretty easy is go to insert, and then in this ribbon that pops up, you say page number, top of page, plain number. Okay, so boom, there's my number. Now what I'm going to do before I do much else, eh, actually, I'll go ahead and finish this and then I'll do something else. So you can see where my cursor is flashing there, and I have it zoomed really small for a reason, because I want to show you the second page here in a second. I'm going to go ahead and type right where that cursor is. I'm on the left-hand side of the one, the page number that I just put in, and I'm going to type in running head. That's the exact text, and then colon space. And then from here, everything is going to be caps lock, and it's going to be a short, a short version of the title. Um, potentially, max 50 characters. So your title might, your full title for your paper might be okay, but if it's if your full title for the paper is more than 50, it's okay to create a shortened version of the title. So, no, everything that I just typed is right justified. In APA, the title needs to be left justified and the number needs to be right justified. So you, hear, you see right here, this is a little center tab. From where the cursor ended up after I finished typing that, I'm going to hit the tab button, and it's going to move the title over to center tab. And now you can see the insertion still, point is still blinking right there. I'm going to hit tab one more time, and now my title has moved over to the left tab position. So I'm pretty much done right now, and I'm going to close this, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a second page. So I'm going to... I'm going to hit Control and Enter, and what that does is it inserts a hard page break in Microsoft Word, and there my second page showed up. I'm going to change the zoom so you can see now I'm on page two, and so you got page one and page two. That running head that I just put in it appears on both pages. Now I'm going to hit the left um, arrow key, which is going to move me technically to the previous character, which will move the mouse over to there. Now you see my insertion point didn't go all the way over the, to the edge. I'm going to go to the home ribbon and click on this paragraph symbol, which shows the hidden character. So you can see there's that hidden character of inserting the page break. So that's why the cursor didn't go all the way back to the left-hand margin. Now if I hit the left arrow again, now the cursor will move over to the left-hand margin. So now you see I've got the two pages in there. I'm going to turn the, the symbols back off. About the two pages. In APA, the title, the running title is supposed to be different on page one. Before I look at that, I'm going to highlight that whole thing, and we're going to go back to the home. By default in Microsoft Word, Calibri is often the selected font, but in APA format, Times New Roman is the selected font, so I'm going to change that header to Times New Roman 12 points. So you see there's my new header. There's a couple of issues that we're going to address here in a minute, but for starters, I'm going to hit, hit Control-C, or you can move up here and just click on Copy up here. The reason I'm going to do that is because this header needs to go away. The first page header is going to be different. The way you do that, so you can see that because I'm still editing in the header, I've got this extra ribbon up here. I'm going to click on Design. I need a different first page ribbon. So I'm going to put a check mark there. That first page header disappears. Because it's going to allow me, you can see down here this changed. It used to say header just like this. Now it's indicating that there's a different first page header. So I'm just going to simply paste. I can hit control V. I can go back to the home ribbon and say paste that header back in. Now you can see 
right now the two headers are identical. I'm going to come to page two and I can remove the running head text there and now I have two separate headers. This is close to APA format. The reason I say close is because you can see right now that the curse that the that the page number is lined up with the right margin. When I go back to the previous page, page one, you can see my um, page number is outside of the right hand margin. It's too far off to the right side of the page. The reason for that is because the extra words running head aren't included in the 50 characters for your short title. Your short title is every character including spaces of the running head title. The actual words running head that only appear on page one are extra characters. So I just need to delete one of the tabs that I had put in there, and there I am. So this is a properly formatted uh, first page header, and then all of the ensuing page headers for the document will appear like they show here on the second page.